In this interview we share Vatican exorcist Father Gabriel Amorth on the devil's defeat. The devil is always ready to fight, but in the end he is doomed to defeat. Evil will not win. Father Gabriele Amorth was so convinced of this that, in spite of all the cruelties and frightening things he had seen and struggled with, he was always carried away by a strong spirit of optimism, and unsurpassed humor. Father Amorth died at Gemelli Hospital in Rome on September 16, 2016, at the age of 91. The words left to us by Father Amorth to help us understand what evil is, but also how great God's love for people is brought by de Simone's book. Father Gabriele Amorth argued that the fight against evil begins in the family. The reason so many people are becoming evil these days is that many young people grow up without knowing the holiness of children and therefore do not know how to be good fathers and mothers. Young people often marry with the intention of becoming one body and one spirit, but they divorce and then reunite and separate, in couples, families, homes, in different countries and with different children. This phenomenon, in the family, leads to delinquency, corruption and evil, says Amorth. Father Angelo de Simone, member of the Society of St. Paul, recorded the thoughts of late exorcist Father Amorth in a long interview entitled God is More Beautiful Than the Devil. According to Father Amorth, it is necessary today to rediscover our relationship with our Father. He emphasizes that the absence of the Father opens such a painful wound in children, that it exposes them to deviant behavior, delinquency and truly evil deeds. But he also argues that we must rediscover our relationship with God, our Heavenly Father. According to the late Roman exorcist, many people considered demon-possessed are in fact persons with very wounded souls because they look only to God's laws and have not tasted His love. They, according to Father Amorth, despite their limitations, need to rediscover their identity, the dignity and holiness of God's children, De Simone writes in the book's introduction. In these unfortunate souls, continues to Simone, Father Amorth goes in search of a divine image that no evil force can touch. In his answers to De Simone's questions, Father Amorth recalls that the great good is still present today. But, he says, it's not always obvious. In fact, what some call the rejection of good is spreading these days. God's things are good news and are therefore largely ignored. What the devil is all about is the criminal rhythm and so he gets more attention, Amorth says. Evil exists, but it fears our Lord. Both the exorcist and the one who is only baptized are sure if they are aware that God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit love them, that they are protected by the Blessed Virgin Mary, and by angels and saints, in short, to be on the side of the one who is stronger, and the one who is more attractive. Father Amorth suggests seeking help in discovering the possible discomfort that is within us and which can be expressed in various forms through grief, anger, violence, rebellion, and even blasphemy. He also recommends giving up any behavior that shows an attitude of indifference, apathy and lack of interest in the good, in order to live in deep peace and have a clear conscience. He encourages us to remain in communion with God by abandoning atheism and the life of sin. Finally, he counsels humility, faith, prayer, the sacraments, living the Christian life in accordance with the gospel, words of love and forgiveness for his enemies. If there is a sure way to keep us from the devil's influence, it is the goodness and beauty that comes from our God and Father. Father Amorth concluded the interview by saying that God gives all the grace needed to fight evil to the exorcists and every baptized person. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.